As the Biden administration brings back the big welfare society and more cities experiment with things like guaranteed income, there could be an epic struggle. Now, many folks will accept the economy port that the economic port that they were born in by embracing a variety of these government programs, ostensibly promoted as ways to level the playing field, but they keep you stuck. Historically, the big welfare option has muffled individual success by de-incentivizing work, marriage, savings, and investing. This Faustian bargain of free money goes completely against the American promise. Work hard, sacrifice, take chances, and rewards can be unlimited. Admittedly, when you are born into poverty, it is hard to resist. Although those who say no thanks to all of those programs and forge ahead on the economic ladder also forge ahead towards true freedom. But something intriguing is happening right now, and I see it. Younger Americans are taking the free money, but they're not selling their souls or giving up on improving their lot in life. Instead, they're actually investing that money. You know, Deutsche Bank estimates that young adults uh, will be, take large swaths of this latest Biden rescue package. In fact, it totals about $170 billion and put it into the stock market, uh, up to 24-year-olds, 40%, 25 to 34-year-olds, 50%. Now, I can tell you right now, the establishment hates that this sense of independence, even though there was nonstop grief when millennials were not in the market. Of course, some are trying to take advantage, including Robinhood, which is currently promoting a de facto give us your stimmy offer, okay? 